welcome back to Fighting Irish Extra. I'm your host, Laura Thomas. Well, we all know that April showers brings March Madness, or something like that. So let's roll some highlights. Coming off their first conference road series victory since joining the ACC, Ryan Lidge and the 22nd ranked Irish baseball squad continued their winning streak, beating Central Michigan 8-3 last Wednesday. The weekend brought 8th ranked Louisville to Frank X Stadium. While Notre Dame's pitching was more than solid, allowing just 11 runs for a 2.75 ERA on the series, the Cardinals took all three games by narrow margins, including an 18-inning marathon on Saturday night. The men's and women's fencing teams finished the NCAA championships in third place overall this weekend. Fifth-year senior Ariel DeSmet advanced into the semifinals of the men's foil weapon class, finishing in a third-place tie. Lee Kiefer won her third consecutive national championship in the women's individual foil. Francesca Russo won the women's Saber title, becoming the first Notre Dame freshman to do so since 2008. Between stifling team defense and sophomore Shane Doss stopping 11 shots between the pipes, number three Notre Dame men's lacrosse posted the second shutout in program history, a 9-0 blanking of number 15 Ohio State on Saturday. Senior midfielder Nick Ocello paced the Fighting Irish on offense with three goals matching his career high. The Irish improved their record to 5-1. They have an upcoming showdown at high noon on Saturday as number one ranked Syracuse visits Arlotta Stadium. On the women's side, Ohio State's bad dream in South Bend continued. Courtney Fortunato scored four times and Rachel Sexton picked up a hat trick over a span of just one minute, 29 seconds late in the game leading the 19th ranked Irish to a 13-5 victory. The Irish will try to extend their winning streak to three against Marquette on the road this Wednesday. The men dropped two matches early in the week to Texas Tech and Virginia, but rebounded with an outstanding weekend performance. Wins over both Georgia Tech and IPFW by identical margins of six to one. Eighth-ranked doubles pairing Alex Lawson and Billy Pecor won their first matchup since Pecor's return from injury. They will carry this momentum into their next match against Miami and Coral Gables on Friday. Freshman Bailey Bigler logged her first collegiate hit for Notre Dame softball, a two-run pinch hit single to key a five-run fifth inning in their 8-4 win over Cleveland State. On Saturday, the Irish swept Georgia Tech in a doubleheader, 6-1 in the first game and 13-0 in the second. Combined with a strong one-hit shutout from sophomore Rachel Naslin, Notre Dame completed the three-game series sweep with a 5-0 win on Sunday. Next up is IPFW in Melissa Cook Stadium this Wednesday. In her final race as a University of Notre Dame student athlete, senior swimmer Emma Rini claimed fourth place in the 200 breaststroke to earn All-American honors in the event for the third year in a row. Her celebrated career that featured over a dozen conference titles and several academic awards ends with a program record 13 All-American or honorable mention citations in addition to her 2014 national championship and new American record time in the 200 breaststroke. The women's team finished 21st this year at the NCAA Championships. And last but not least, congratulations to both our men's and women's basketball teams for making it to the Sweet 16. And here with me now is Michaela Mabry and Taya Reimer. Good game last night, guys. Thank so uh, who had the better game? I think I did, but I think I did. Well, why don't you guys uh, rock, paper, scissors for it? Okay. Ready? Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Ah, Looks like Taya on this one. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. I'm your host, Laura Thomas, and as in all things, Go, Go Irish! Irish.